Did you know it's possible to pack for a seven day trip in an under the seat bag? Let's do it. Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Haley with HaleyWithTheFlare.com. If you are new here, please hit subscribe and don't forget to follow me over here on social media. I post travel content at least every Wednesday, sometimes multiple times a week, which is what I've been doing lately. All forms of travel tips from packing, destinations, cruising, Disney, you name it. For those of you that have been following me for a little while, you know that I did a packing video a few months ago. I'll link it up here and it was for spirit airlines frontier united delta for that basic economy you only get a personal item bag this is going to be an extension of it because i have some new bags to show you that i am completely obsessed with so in today's video i'm going to be featuring three different bags from underseat pro this is a new travel bag company they did gift me these three bags but the responses that i'm going to tell you the tips that i'm going to give you are all my own i was not paid for anything i was just gifted these bags to review and make a video on so in that video i mentioned earlier the bag that i usually use the boarding blue it has a shoulder strap it's not necessarily the easiest bag to carry, but it did the trick and it was at a great price. Well, when Underseat Pro reached out to me about these bags, you know, I was kind of curious if I was gonna be able to find something comparable. Well, not only were these, I guess I can't even call them comparable. They were just 10 times better and I'm gonna show you why. The first bag I wanna show you is a backpack. This is 17 and a half inches. It fits, I'm gonna show you some pictures right here. It fits it fits for the personal size item for Spirit, Frontier, for United. So I love a backpack because sometimes having a shoulder strap, that's a lot on one of your shoulders. So this bag has the two straps right here. It has a top handle and my favorite feature is it does have a sleeve. So if you even use this bag and you check a bag, you can slide it right on top of roller luggage, which is fantastic. Before we go further on this bag, I'm gonna show you how I packed for seven days in this bag. So one of the things that I love about this backpack is that it opens kind of like a suitcase, which is so much better because it's for, better than digging out of a normal backpack, which I'm a huge fan of. So to show you, this is what the inside looks like. I still have plenty of room where I could pack additional things. And I think you're all gonna be surprised with what I have packed in here already. So I took the buckle off. First things first, I have my laptop in here. This is my MacBook Air case. I have my charger. I have my mouse in here. It's a pretty thick case. My mouse fell out, I kinda lied. <laughs> and then it has another band up here that I'm gonna unclip. I have two pairs of shoes. These are my new favorites from Shoe Dazzle. They're so comfy. One regular pair, one dressy pair. This is for a vacation. We're going beach here with this. And then I usually wear my sneakers to the airport because I have TSA pre-check, so I don't have to take them off and it's easy peasy. I also packed in here my straight iron and the other one I'm actually missing because I accidentally left at my mother's house. I have the silk tube hair curler, so I don't have to bring a curling one anymore, anymore, which I'm excited about. I'll put a link down there for it. So there's this little side pocket on the inside right here where I put scrunchies, I'll put some lip balm, I have a couple necklaces in here. I have a container for my toiletry, so I've got deodorant in here. This is a TSA approved size 311 bag. I have my skincare in here. I have shampoo and conditioner. I have deodorant, a little bit of makeup because we're not doing the full makeup regimen for this pack. And then crammed in here on the side too, I have a hairbrush, cause you know, <laughs> you have to. And then I have two packing cubes in here. We have this one and then I have my big one. So I'm going to show you the inside of the bag after this, but first I wanna show you what I packed. So obviously, I am a thick lady, and when I like to travel to a tropical place, I'm definitely a dress fan. So I packed all dresses. You could do a mix of dresses, shirts, and shorts. I personally wear a lot of dresses. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I wear a lot of dresses. So these are some packing cubes that I picked up on Amazon. Really cheap, I'll link them down below. 
I like that they have a handle. I know that's kind of lame, but I love it. And there's a clear top right here so you can actually see what's in the bag. So I watched this one girl on TikTok and she does beautiful, meticulous packing cube packing. She's also a lot thinner than I am. So she can fit a bit more in this size pack than I can. But I was able to get six dresses in here. So what I did is I folded four of them on the bottom. I rolled them and then I put these two folded on top at the end. I saved more of my thicker dresses to fold on top, but there's one dress, two, three, four, and then these ones get folded on the top. So let me zip this up quickly. Flatten it back out. And then in here, I have underwear. I have bralettes folded and rolled across the top. And then underneath, I have two bikinis and a nightgown. So I did not pack any regular bras. There is still more than enough room in here. If you watched my last packing video, what I do if I have a padded bra is I fold them inside and I put them in a corner to maximize space. But in here, I have four bralettes, two, three, and there's four, and I have six pairs of underwear as well. And then I think I told you guys two bikinis, but super easy. This is an easy travel pack. Now, could I be more elaborate and pack a ton of things in a bigger bag? Yes, but we're keeping it simple and we're not paying for baggage fees today. No sorry, Bob. We found a cheap flight to a nice tropical destination and we are gonna take it. Another thing that you need to keep in mind is if you are a thicker person and you are wanting to try packing cubes, and I think depending on how you're packing and what will dictate if a packing cube or one of those vacuum bags like I used in that last video is better for you. The thing that I looked for when I looked for these and I have another set from a different brand, which is great too, is the thickness. You need to make sure you get a thicker packing cube because I have some that I bought at TJ Maxx and they're about an inch or so more shallow. So if you are a bigger person, mid-sized person, you're going to want to slightly thicker packing cube if you're gonna do that slight fold and roll method. Now remember, one of my biggest tricks to packing more efficiently is I will ship shampoo and conditioner and sunscreen to my hotel or I'll buy it when I get there. Saves room in the suitcase and it's less headache. All right, so now that I unpacked this backpack, we're gonna get back into the backpack a little bit. So one of the things that's nice about this bag versus the boarding blue bag that I showed you last time are those inner pockets. So you have one right here. There's inner pockets from the outside as well. This one does water bottle storage, a key hook so you're not fumbling for your keys. But there's two separate zippers on this side for organization. This is why I definitely, even though I was gifted these, prefer this bag because I love that it lets me organize my trip between the additional key holders here, the compression from the straps inside. I just, I love this backpack and we actually used it when we went to Paris last month. We tried it out because I'm not going to just review a bag that I haven't tried out for you guys. And Jeff loved it because one of the other things he appreciated about the backpack side is it does have a chest strap. And I believe they have an extra waist strap that you could purchase, but this was great. And I do love the zipper here on the back sleeve. So you can put important documents there that you don't want stolen out of your bag. So, so we were really, really big fans of the backpack. Highly recommend it. I do want to take some time and show you their other two bags as well. Okay. So if you're not a backpack fan, they do have an under the seat personal size item roller that I love. This is what it looks like. This is pictures of it fitting in the case. This bag is amazing. So one of the reasons I thought this was just the coolest thing is because it actually folds up. So, you know, luggage gets really bulky when you're trying to store it at home when you're not traveling. This actually folds down. And it's amazing. I just, I think it's the little things. If I can compress this down even smaller to store and put under a bed or something, it's amazing. So this is a tool we, uh, two wheel system, 
just so you know. Um, but it is, it's amazing. This is what the inside looks like. It has the same pocketing, just like the backpack on the outside. So if you wanna put a drink in, the sides come up, Velcro into the side, since you can break this down. It has those same straps. And then it has more of those pockets. It actually has more pockets than the backpack does. So you can put a bunch of little things, medications, even some of your liquids around here, underwear, socks. There's even one here on the inside, which is wonderful. So this does have a handle that comes out the top, which is wonderful. And I'm gonna show you how all this stuff fits in this bag now, so. Give me one moment. All right, so when you're packing with a bag that has bars, like a traditional suitcase, I take items like this, like my flat iron and socks, and I put it down in the bottom because sometimes it's hard to take advantage of that space in between the bars because it is so small and shallow. I also will put shoes in those spots because it's a great place to fill up some of those shallow spaces. Okay, perfect, I think we are good to go. I'm gonna slide this bag right here, this one right here, get my toiletry bag, slide that in here. Oops, I didn't put the straps on. There it is. Now you're gonna be like, Haley, you didn't put the laptop in there. That's because this actually has a laptop compartment right here in the front. So I'm gonna unzip this and I'm actually going to, let's see if we can fit it in this way. I actually haven't tried it this way. I know it fits regular, but, oh, it does. It sure does, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Probably should have tried that out before showing you guys, but I originally took the laptop out and put it in there, but this is fantastic. You cannot go wrong. Also another feature to show you guys is it does have a zipper right here on the bag and you can stack this one on top of a bigger roller as well. You can't beat it. So if you're looking for a great under the seat personal item size bag, you can't go wrong with either one of these. There's one more bag I'm going to show you. Just realized I didn't put a hairbrush in here. So. For the sake of this video, we're gonna get that hairbrush in here because we want it to be a true testament to what you can do. And I can literally just lay this on the back, lay this right on the top. No problem, easy amount of space. And you still also have those pockets on the side. This is the last bag that I'm gonna show you from Under Seat Pro. Now this is a carry-on bag. This is compressed down, so it's good for easy storage. This does fit the Spare Airlines carry-on size requirement, not personal item carry-on size so keep that in mind love that it compresses down great for storage but let's look at this bag a little closer so it's a roller bag right on the back just like the last one we're gonna unhook it and this is gonna pop up just like that last suitcase So another nice thing that they do send you are these really nice luggage tags that come along with your suitcase. They're a leather style luggage tag, super nice. And I mean, this bag is huge, you guys. We're gonna pop up the sides. It does have the straps inside just like last time. It has two zipper compartments on this side and it's zippered both on this side and two on the others. This also has another laptop slit just like the other bag does. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the items from this bag, I'm gonna put them in here because I wanna show you how much more space is in this bag. And in theory, it's actually not that much larger than this one. All right, so to give you guys an idea how much more space there is in this bag, I'm gonna zip up the sides. And <laughs> I'm going to show you, I think from this angle will be the easiest. I could literally pack for another week in this bag. I could travel two weeks out of this bag, no problem. Or if I'm blogging, um, maybe a week and a half, I could do two weeks if I was doing laundry, but I have a whole nother section and there's easily 
three inches worth of space right here on top. And like I said, it has that laptop sleeve where I could put my laptop. I could put a laptop, a small MacBook Air, and an iPad in this front pocket. It, it's mind blowing. I hope you guys enjoyed some of these new travel packing tips since we used cubes this time versus the vacuum bags. And I really hope you give the Undersea Pro website a look. They're a great company. The materials are actually made out of recycled plastic, so it's good for the environment. And this is a company that's based in the US out of Ohio, so it's kind of got that shop local, good quality, good people kind of feel. Until next time, I will see you guys later, and don't forget to check out the links below. Safe travels.